First of all, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been a very it's been a very tough road. Uh, we had to we had to play some of the best teams in the world to to be able just to get here and uh, face one of the most formidable teams at the World Cup final. So uh, yeah, I think um, the boys the boys have done really well. Stuck to what we, we we wanted to do. We kept working hard. It was not the easiest. Uh, it's not the, it was not the easiest road to to get here. I mean, uh, if you play against uh, the host nation and and things work out the way uh, it worked out for us, um, the whole work kind of seems to go against you. Even though uh, it's not it's not it's not their fault. It's just how people feel when it's uh, when it comes to sport. So. Uh, for us to be able to get to where we are, it was really amazing and uh, a really a journey worth enjoying. You know, it's uh, the, the funny that you're saying that because I was talking to Ox and Che not so long ago. It's like, we won this World Cup just by three points, meaning obviously exactly what you just asked, like one point, one point, one point. And um, you know what, at the end of the day, like I said, we play the best teams in the world when it comes to World Cup rugby. You can't just expect yourself to to blow th teams away because these are quality teams, these are quality nations, these are quality sides. And uh, at times, yeah, if you if you do what you you know, do what you plan, things work out the way they do work out. And um, as as uh, I think most probably people will know uh, from the Fast and the Furious movies, uh, Dominic Toretto said, "Whether you win by an inch or a mile, winning is winning." And right now. Winning is winning on top of the world, and it means everything to us as a team, to us as our families, and to South Africa, and to Africa as a continent. So it's really amazing. At the end of the day, everyone is not going to say you just won by a point. At the end of the day, that point made us world champions. Yeah, you know what? Uh, when it comes to that, uh, especially South Africans and, uh, and our people, they, they've always backed us. We've there were times where things were going really tough and uh, and things were not going our way, but they stuck with us. They kept on believing. And uh, that just gives us that little extra for us to want to go for that extra mile just for them. And uh, to all the people that came to support us, not, lit, not just the ones here at the stadiums, those who couldn't make it, those kids that are sitting back in South Africa that have to walk kilometers to school with no shoes, from them to some of the wealthiest South Africans, the, the ones in the middle, for everyone, this is for you. We put our blood, sweat and tears just to try and find something that we can make work in South Africa. And I think um, when the Springbok plays, uh, whatever we have issues that are going on in South Africa, sometimes for that 80 minutes, people put everything aside and just enjoy watching the Springbok, their team, their people. So uh, I think it means it means a lot, and their support to us really means everything. I don't think we would be here, standing here where we are without them. Yeah, obviously, got it, got it with that. Um, you know, this this journey has uh, meant so much to so many boys, and um, especially the ones that are that are leaving us and and don't get the opportunity to wear the jersey again. But yeah, just on tonight. Uh, you know, that's the cool reality of sport, I guess, and spe especially rugby. You know, we've seen it uh, throughout this tournament, but um, to experience is, is tough and it's going to sting for a bit. But, yeah, look, I, I back these boys and, you know, the boys will, will group tight and uh, we'll get it around each other, but better days to come. Yeah. yeah, it definitely was, you know, I think. And they've been driving it throughout the week, you know, not, not making it about them and um, more so just about the occasion and, in the final, and um, you know, as as younger boys, you know, we it's um, it's not often you, you get inspired by um, too many other All Blacks mm. once you're in the team. But you know, for, for those boys, um, your Nuggies, Semis, um, Brody, Bears, who whoever decides um, to leave, you know, it's those boys have been huge not only um, in this tournament but um, throughout their playing career. And you know, uh, I, I truly feel that New Zealand should be proud of every single one of them. So. Um, because we all are.